This video, as you can see, is called a fish tank air pump. A question from a viewer prompted me to make this video. Will a fish tank air pump run a model steam engine? The primary function of an aquarium air pump is to do this. It's just aerating the water, blowing bubbles through the water, which of course carry oxygen and makes the fish happy. This particular fish tank air pump is powered via a USB connector. I'm using this battery for the power supply. The unit gives 5 volts at 2 amps. And here is the air pump sat on the bench, but before I plug it into the engines, I need to find out how much air is required to run them. This aquarium pump would never run the triple expansion engine that you see. I'm using the Bambi compressor under the bench. I'm using the big compressor to start with, just to assess how much pressure is going to be required. For instance, this Stuart Sirius requires quite a lot of compressed air to work at all. By removing the pipe in this way, you can hear the compressed air hissing. And this is only at about 15 to 20 pounds per square inch. This little beauty is a Cheddar Models Puffin steam engine. It's very simple, quite old and a bit stiff, just like a few of my previous girlfriends. And this is running on exactly the same pressure that you've just seen the Sirius using. I'm using exactly the same air pressure and because of its size it runs a bit faster. This is a microcosm engine made by a company in China and it's a brilliant thing. It really does run well in both directions, Stevenson's link reversing gear and an inbuilt regulator. And once again this engine is running on exactly the same pressure as the Sirius and the Puffin. As it's very well made and very free running, it runs faster. Once again, below the bench, you can see that the air pressure is very low on the outlet. Without changing the pressure, I connect my Stuart Victoria. This cylinder is one inch in diameter, a good bit bigger than the others. But it still works on this low pressure. In this next clip, I'm reducing the air pressure from the compressor to see how slow this microcosm engine will successfully run. Now when I look at the compressor's outlet pressure gauge, there is very little air coming out. Not even enough to run this Cheddar Models Puffin because as I mentioned earlier, this is a bit old and a bit stiff. With about 30 pounds per square inch of steam going through it, this engine runs very fast. I turned up the air pressure slightly because it really was very low and this is what the Victoria is doing now on about 20 pounds per square inch. And here is the Stuart Sirius running on the same pressure. Here's a Cheddar Puffin running quite well on the raised pressure. Now I have some idea of the pressure requirements of these engines. I'm going to take a look at this aquarium pump. It's quite clever. It runs at different speeds. It has a rechargeable battery built in, but I am running it from an external battery. I have a feeling I'm going to need quite a lot of power to make this do anything. First thing to do is to oil the engines. This isn't thick steam oil though, it's just ordinary steam engine lubricating oil. This is what happens when I connect the aquarium pump to the microcosm engine. As you can see by the display, the aquarium pump is set to full power, and when I unplug the battery, it continues to work. I did this just to confirm that the internal rechargeable battery is still charged. There isn't much air pressure though. The microcosm engine should really turn over, and it nearly does. I could lubricate this engine using a very thin machine oil like 3-in-1, and then I think it would possibly run after a fashion. You will notice there is no movement whatsoever from the Stuart Victoria, and very little movement from the microcosm engine. So to answer the viewer's question, no, my steam engines will not work using an aquarium pump. I have to use a proper compressor like this one. Although some of my steam engines would run if I used an airbrush compressor. This engine that you're about to see is a Stuart triple expansion engine that needs quite a lot of mechanical attention. I will get round to this in a future series. Here it is running, but I've slowed the video down. This is the normal speed, but it's running on about 50 pounds per square inch. I'll turn it around so you can see the condensate pump and the air pump. By the time I've rebuilt this engine, it will be very nice indeed. Before I fix up this engine though, I do need to complete some projects that I'm already on with. 
Here's a final look at the Microcosm engine, and this is about the best it can do. Maybe a small Mamod or similar steam engine, lubricated with very thin oil, may even run. But I think this aquarium pump is very good at what it does. It provides bubbles in water for fish. Although my application for this pump is part of an electroplating bath, just to keep the liquid moving. Stay safe, stay healthy, thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainsteam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.